Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Say, Bertha, we haven't got much time left, Calvary. Mr. Norton will be home soon. I don't want him to see this, remember? We don't need more time, Mrs. Norton. Almost it is ready to go into the mold. Just one more beef. Hey, can I have a little taste before you pour? But surely, go ahead, taste. Not sanitary to taste, but here goes. Don't worry. Nobody will know that your finger has been in it. Mmm. I didn't know salmon mousse could be so good. I wish I knew how to make it. Now you know it, yeah? Now I know it, no. Mr. Norton, he likes salmon mousse? He doesn't like salmon. Mama doesn't either. Neither does Fritz. I make a mousse for Fritz, too. All mixed up, he doesn't know what it is. He eats Mr. it. Mr. Norton won't know what it is either, and he'll love it. Here, let me wash that pan for you. It's all washed already. Bertha, you're marvelous. If I boil one egg, the whole kitchen gets involved. When you have cooked so long as I have 30 years, you will know so much, too. I never will. I'm not the efficient type. Mama's been trying to teach me for ages. How do you two do it? I try to explain. When a new wife learns to cook, she uses everything she has. Whoosh! The whole kitchen, it gets upside down. You know, Mrs. Norton, sometimes I think a girl, she shouldn't be married until she's 50 years old. Oh, dear, I couldn't wait that long to marry David. But you will learn one day. One day you wake up and you are neat like a pin. I'll tell Mr. Norton that. He'll be delighted. What day will I wake up neat? Soon. You want I should pull the mousse into the mold? No, no, no. Hey, let me do it, Bertha. Oh, where'd I put that mold now? Is this it? No, I wanted to use the one that was shaped like a fish. I oh, saw it someplace. It where was it? In the closet you put it. Oh, I couldn't have. What would I put it in the closet for? Is this it, Mrs. Norton? Yes, where was it? In the closet. See what I mean about myself? Now, Mrs. Norton, pour it in slow. And just before your dinner party, I will bring up the filling. Bertha, what would I do without you? Oh, fine. You would do fine. Oh, we would do without salmon mousse. That's one sure thing. Mrs. Norton, for me, believe me, it is a real happiness to help you. You are as if I had found my own child again. You had six, didn't you, Bertha? I had six, yeah. I lost three. How often? So is the way it goes in life. I don't think I could bear it to have a child and lose it. You cannot always fight with life. Ah, but for you, everything will be beautiful. You want children, don't you? Oh, a house full, right away, too. That is good. I like to hear that. David says they'll all be boys and look like him. Bertha, I'm putting the moose in the back of the icebox with a plate over it, so Mr. Norton won't see it. <laughs> this party will be a very important occasion, Bertha. Yes? Yes, first time Mama comes over for dinner. Surely that is important. It's the way I, I always want it. She's a very important person, only she doesn't know it. Yeah, that is why she is important. Have uh, you seen my pipe, Claudia? It's, uh, uh, it's in the living room, David, on the table next to the desk chair. Huh. That's funny. What's funny? That it's on the table next to the desk chair. Isn't that where you want it? <laughs> What's that got to do with it? What'd you say, David? It's never been where I want it before. It's always been someplace else. That's because that's the way it's been. It doesn't mean that's the way it's always going to have to be, does it? Say, what's got into you tonight? What do you mean? You're making sense. I always make sense, David. <laughs> but not very sensible sense always. Well, do you want it? Want what? Your pipe, of course. Well, not just yet. I'll finish changing first. Then why did you ask for it? Just like to know where it is. You and your pipe, you'd think it was worth a million dollars. It is to me. It's taken me months to develop its personality. Are you hungry? You bet I am. Good. Got something special? 
Everything I make is special. In its own way, I suppose. Don't you have to go in and whip something up or something? Nope, it's all ready. Everything's ready and all at the same time, too. Well, you sound professional. While you're at the dresser, throw me my brush, would you, dear? Catch. Oh, <laughs> you missed. I'm standing here, not there. I threw it right to you, your butterfly. Here, you catch. <laughs> Now who's butterfly? You didn't throw it anywhere near me. <laughs> Tit for tat. Now hand me my brush like a good girl. Huh? What'll you give me for it? Well, if you don't hand it over, I'll give you something. Now don't you worry. You can't scare me. Here, give it here. <laughs> oh, take it. I don't want your silly old brush anyway. Now stand still. I'll give you something. What? Close your eyes. They're closed. The left one, too. You see everything. There. That was nice, darling. Just for a brush, too. Just for you. Now, go and sit on the bed so I can comb my hair. Isn't it wonderful when things are done systematically? There's so much more time. Time for what? For us, of course. David, why don't you try parting your hair on the right side for a change? Because men part their hair on the left side. You get bald parting your hair always on the same side. I'm not the type that gets bald. Now, let's eat. Let's. Everything's waiting. It certainly is different to have it waiting for me than to have me wait for it. You like it better? Well, so far, okay. You even remembered to light the stove before putting in the meat. Now, just because I did that once doesn't mean I'll always do it. That's nice to know. You know, the man who designed this apartment was no architect. This hall is awfully long for the rest of it. I, I, I think he figured that people who sleep don't have to eat, or vice versa. <laughs> He didn't know us. <laughs> Not bad, is it, David, having dinner like this? Just the two of us. And everything waiting as if we had a butler. Not bad at all. Wouldn't mind doing it every night, even. I might get bored, though. It's too simple. You're right. Not enough excitement. Maybe we ought to dress for dinner. No. Tomorrow night, when your mother comes, I'll wear that new tie you bought me. Well, here we are, Mr. Norton. Hope you enjoy your dinner. Same to you, Mrs. Norton. Can I help you bring in the things from the kitchen? You just sit down like a man. I'll bring it in. Gloria, mm -hmm. table's not set. Of course it is. All I see is a knife and fork. What else do we need? Ants, if it's a picnic. If it's not a picnic, salt, pepper, glasses, I'm napkins. I'm bringing everything in with a plate. Saves time. What are you going to do with all that time you're saving? Spend it with you. What do you think? Oh, that's different. That's different. <gasps> oh, I forgot the butter plates and the butter knives. Do we need them? Well, they're not imperative. I guess not. I guess not, too. They're just a nuisance. You have to wash them after. You're right. No butter plates. We'll use the dinner plate. See, I put the butter on the corner of it in the kitchen and, and the roll. Just like that, I saved two plates. The butter has an unfortunate habit of sliding into the gravy and the potatoes. Oh, not if you put it right on the roll, David. All right with me. I'll be right back. All of this efficiency makes me feel as if we should get acquainted all over again, Claudia. I can't hear you. I say all of this makes me feel as we should get acquainted all over again. Wait and tell me when I come in, David. Here I come. Now, that tray is tray's loaded. Here, here, give it to me. I've got everything on it, so I only have to make one trip. It's much better than running in and out all the time. Oh, much, much. What were you saying before? Just that you develop a new talent every day. Is that bad? Not so far. Here's your plate. Hey, what happened to that salmon you bought yesterday? Said you didn't like it. I'll never give you anything you don't like. That's the spirit. Mmm. Those chops look good. They're done, too. I put them in when you started showering. They take exactly 16 minutes, and so do you. You're lucky I'm not erratic. Mmm. Potatoes are cooked through, too. What about the beans? Fit to eat, which is pretty good for beans. You really improved them. It's my new system, David, or, or rather Bertha's. Hope you like the salad, too. I'll let you know in a minute. Now, let's see. Uh, where are the salad plates? There aren't any. <laughs> we don't need butter about? plates. Why do we need salad plates? I don't know anything funny at all about a salad plate. <laughs> yeah. We have butter. Why do we need salad? We eat it on the same plate. Afterwards. Afterwards what? Afterwards, we're through eating what's on the plate now. But, darling, chops and beans and potatoes don't mix with salad dressing. David, you're upsetting my whole system. Oh, all right. I'll get the salad plates. Fussy. No, no, don't bother. Really, David, isn't this better than jumping up and down all the time, getting things? Mm-hmm. I guess so. Hey, don't you want any salad? Oh, uh, not just yet. 
You make the dressing? Yep, with lots of garlic. Mmm, fine. Whoops. What the matter? Some of it missed my place, but it didn't miss my trousers. <gasps> David, they're just home from the cleaners. It's not their fault. Not enough room on the plate. David, can I borrow a little butter from you? I put all of mine on the roll right away. I melted into the gravy, but that's my fault. I wasn't quick enough. Now get some. No, you mustn't. I mustn't. I'd rather have it this way so we can be together and eat and not be disturbed. Oh. Well, so far it's worked out, don't you think? Like a charm. I'll manage it even better tomorrow. And now you know what? Right after dinner, I'm going to set the table for breakfast. Then I won't have to do it in the morning. I suppose we'll have to sleep standing up so as not to rumple the beds. Now that's exaggerating. Is it? <laughs> now, how about some salad? Wonderful. <laughs> No, I, I guess I don't want it after all. Mm. Delicious. Lots of garlic. Too much gravy in my plate. I'll have to do without. Suit yourself. Smells wonderful, but... No, no, that I... That settles it. That settles it. David, where are you going? Stop. I'll eat it with the gravy. Hey, David, are you all right? Hmm? I was bringing you a salad plate. Oh, here, let me pick you, help you pick hey, up the hey, pieces. don't cut yourself again. Careful, you'll hit your head on the corner of the table. Oh, oh darling, move over. Let me see where. Mm. There. Oh. Kind of nice here under the table. Yes, isn't it? But not very efficient of me to drop that plate. I forgive you. Don't be greedy. Let me help. Sure, I'll let you help. It's fun picking up a salad plate together, isn't it? It's fun eating off a salad plate together, too. It's even fun washing a salad plate together. As a matter of fact, I'd rather do things together, I think, than to be so busy trying not to do them at all. Wouldn't you, dear? You think I got a little over-efficient too quick, maybe? <laughs> you think I got a little over-hasty with that salad plate, maybe? David Norton... I could wring your neck, breaking a, a perfectly good salad plate just so you could point a moral. Mm-hmm. Just so we could be together under the kitchen table. story material used on this broadcast of Claudia was under the supervision of Rose Franken and William Brown Maloney. When you're planning a party, less fuss means more fun. And that's why an experienced hostess always has a good supply of Coca-Cola on hand. That's an easy rule to follow now, because there's more Coke available. Keep an ample supply in your refrigerator, and you'll always have gracious hospitality ready and waiting for your guests. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again Monday at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir, and remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes.